great crowd, great crowd on a great day uh, for a great event. Uh, the uh, groundbreaking of Fire Station 4, long awaited, driven by this site for years, and uh, today is the day that uh, we're going to break ground. We've accomplished so much over uh, the last years under the leadership of City Manager Scott Meyer and, and uh, Chief Ennis and uh, Chief Blair uh, in public safety. Uh, we have uh, added staff. We are thoroughly trained. Uh, we have uh, new uh, rolling stock uh, equipment. We have added new state-of-the-art uh, fire stations and today we celebrate this event as we uh, think over at uh, Curry Lane where that will be a, a, a station of the past in another year. The last station, the last antiquated station uh, that we have. So really up and down the line with uh, staff, with training, with rolling stock, with equipment, uh, and with infrastructure, uh, we are in a good position um, in public safety. More to go? Yeah, still more, but um, we can be very proud of, of uh, our accomplishments uh, through our staff, uh, and I'll say more just about that in just a minute, but uh, of our accomplishments. Joined today with, by uh, Councilman Wayne Bowen, uh, Victor Gunn, I think I saw Bob Fox come in. Uh, what a great day that uh, we have today. But I really want to highlight in uh, just these few uh, moments uh, what really and who really has made the difference for us uh, in public safety and why we are here today, and that's our citizens. Our citizens have said that yes, we want state-of-the-art in public safety. We want a city that's state-of-the-art. And they continue to say yes. And I want to say today thank you uh, to all our citizens uh, who are forward-thinking and have a vision along with the rest of us uh, to accomplish uh, what we've been able to accomplish and, and to let us celebrate this, this event today. With that, I'd like to introduce our uh, city manager, Scott Meyer. Again, thank you all for being here. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I'll just kind of tag on to what the mayor said in that uh, it is a tribute to citizens and their um, extension of the uh, capital improvement portion of the public uh, safety sales tax, the fire tax, that uh, allows us to do the things that, uh, that that are being talked about today and the other things that, uh, that we've seen happen in our community. Uh, but beyond, the next step to that is is our, our team that we have at the city. Um, there's some forethought to this land that we're on. When they, I, I believe when they were buying uh, for the expansion or the widening of Lexington, they purchased this piece of property uh, with a fire station in mind. They, they talked to the fire at that time and said, is this a good location? And then, and then we held on to that. And then actually I came and said, well, maybe this isn't a good place. Should we look at selling it? And, and they said, no, you should keep it. And, uh, and it turns out this is, the, this is the right location. We actually did a little bit of a study uh, right before we did to see should we, should we consider next to Osage Center and, and some other options. This, this is the right place. So some forethought of people <clears throat> much better at it than I am. Uh, the, the, the firefighters and the planners in the past um, looked ahead and saw this day. So that's that's a great tribute to them and, and their thought of beyond different departments to look out for the other one. And so we're really proud of that. Another thing we did uh, differently here uh, is we did a design build contract. And so that's a little different way of, of uh, bidding contracts, of, uh, of producing a, a capital improvement. So the design build contract says to uh, designers and builders get together or form a team and then put together a team that can deliver the things that we want. So we line out, here's the things that uh, we need, here's the the, uh, the budget that we have for this, find a way to do that. And uh, we chose a great team with Pencil Construction, 
and uh, and that's what they have been about doing. And so our local uh, uh, architect and uh, and inspection services manager Anna Kangas then has been uh, fostering that project through uh, the the process to bring us today. And so I want to bring up Anna and let her tell about. Uh, how that team has worked and how we got to today. Anna Kangas. So I'd like to introduce our design build team on this project. Um, our contractor on this project is Penzel Construction, specifically uh, Phil Penzel and Luke Maget are here. And then, thank you. And then our architect team, we actually are working with two different architecture firms. Um, Dilly Traxel is the local component and we have Brett Dilley and Craig Milby here today. And then FGM Architects, they specialize in fire station design. And Brian Mason is here with us today. And then I'd also like to recognize the members of the city side of this design team. And that, that includes uh, Chief Rick Innes, who will be coming up in a second. And then Assistant Chief Mark Hashider. And then we've had involvement from several firefighters um, who give us input on what really happens in a fire station every day and just making sure that the design that we've come up with will meet their needs. Um, so here's Chief Ennis. The advantage of going forth in this lineup is I can just say, yeah, what all they said. Did it. <laughs> um, it, is, it is an honor and a privilege to be a, the fire chief in a city where the citizens and the elected officials um, and the community rallies around the fire department and the police department and the public safety departments to give us the resources that, that we need to deliver the services to the level that we want to deliver them. Um, the fire station that we have now, uh, built in 1974, was, a, was an excellent fire station in its day and has served us well. They say that uh, the second hardest thing to do as a fire chief is to get a fire station built in a neighborhood. And the, the hardest thing is to get a fire station out of a neighborhood. So um, as, as uh, Mr. Meyer alluded to, one of the things that has amazed me and an example of the, of the support that we talked about is when I came here in 2004 and we talked about passing the first fire sales tax uh, that, that passed by a significant margin, we were ready to build a fire station because the city had the foresight to buy the land on North Sprig Street before North Sprig Street was even in place. Um, and then when we passed that first fire sales tax, the city had the foresight to start looking for property and bought this property back in 2006. Um, again, um, knowing that someday eventually we would need a location to replace the, the fire station that was built in 1974. Um, so the property's been here for a while. Now that we announced that the fire station is being built, some of the neighbors were a little bit nervous, understandably, uh, but we did a survey and, and checked with our neighbors at uh, around new fire station three and around old fire station four and found that we had a tremendous amount of, of support and they uh, verified what we thought is we were pretty good neighbors. And I, I look forward to the building a relationship with the neighborhood here uh, and being good neighbors with them. I also appreciate on behalf of all these gentlemen standing right over here um, that we're giving them the resources that they need to operate from and getting them out of uh, 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 a small box that they, are, they feel cooped up in and giving them a fire station not only for today but well into the future for the next 30 years. So I appreciate everybody being here today. With that, we're going to start filling in the shovels. Here we go. One. And don't throw too far. One. Two, three, throw. Beautiful. Woo! 